All right, guys. Today I'm out here with Get Hooked Fishing and Colin. I'm gonna be uh, trying out this new golf course pond with him. See if we can catch some bass. I just flew in here to Georgia uh, yesterday, so this is my first day. Um, we're gonna try a whole bunch of different ponds today, and hopefully we're successful. Um, today I don't really. The only rod I'm gonna be using is this Pinnacle Pro Series Classic. My Daiwa T3 is the reel with 12 pound mono. And I'm just going to be trying everything I can. And then I brought my deeper. So uh, hopefully between the deeper and all those, that 40, 40 pounds of lures right there that I brought, we can uh, be successful and catch some fish. Hopefully we can get back to you with some more. Oh! Let's have one strike at it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh! Yeah. Top water bite on freaking. Oh my gosh. This isn't the best because I'm using mono, but still. I think it might be a nice fish, too. That's crazy, man. Oh, my goodness. Too far down his throat. He's got him. Nice. Uh, he's not too big. About a pound and a half. Take five. Pound. It's a little large mouth on the uh, rivet frog. Didn't think it would work too well, but wanted to try it again anyways. And sure enough, it pays off. Yeah. He definitely wanted it, dude. Oh, there's another one. He's chasing it. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Dude. He just came after it twice. Any bites? No. Oh, bass right here. Got him. Dude, that's crazy. Oh, yeah, it's like a pound and a half. Watched him eat that. He chased it. I'm going to get a picture of this. Bass number two, guys. Bass number two on the crankbait. He got himself good. Mm. Might need some pliers for this one. That's just like a pound. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. That's a good one. All right, thank you. Fish number two. Dude, that was good footage. Yeah. Alright guys, we're at my uh, second spot, 
This is my favorite lake. I'm not going to say it because I don't want to get extremely pressured. But this is my uh, favorite lake. I almost fell off this dam right here. And there's some really big bass in here. So we're going to see if uh, we can catch some big ones here. There's a fish right there. Four and a half feet about. I'm gonna cast there. <laughs> Deeper just froze. Money. Just let it sit. You wanna make a few casts on that side too? You got one? Oh yeah. I've never caught. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, it's uh, a pound and a half, something like that. Size. Yeah. He came up good. It might be bigger. Oh, yeah, that's like a two and a half. Two. Nice. I've never caught one from the bridge. It's nice, man. You want a picture of it? Yeah. Alright. I'm going to weigh him up here. Reel this in real quick. I haven't caught one on that rod in so long. Nice. I just said I had a bite out there too. <laughs> it's probably the same one. Yeah, we had the same exact reel. I mean, go same exact. Like uh, one point six. Go on one and a half. Wait, oh, no. When it when it hits H, you have to re. One pound, two ounces. <laughs> Dude, um, it, looked, it looked big at first. He came up quick, and I thought he was going to jump and be big. When you were bringing him above the water, he looked really big. Well, there's Colin's first fish. About a pound and a half. Pound. Or, yeah, a pound and two ounces, I think said. Yep. Not there's a nice one. one. Shaky head. Black. Zoom Where is it? Worm. Yeah, he's yeah. using a shaky Big head one. with a uh, June bug color finesse worm. Thank the deeper on that one for finding the fish. Yeah. All right, let's get that release. Drop him over head first so he gets oxygen faster. <laughs> Nose dive. All right, guys, we've been fishing this whole day and um, trying to get in a little bit bored. We've already caught, what was it, three fish now? Three fish total. And I've caught two and he's caught one. And right now we're just going to make it a little bit more interesting. We're going to start fresh. And we're going to make a uh, little, I guess, I guess a tournament. Not really mm -hmm. a tournament. A competition, I guess, between the both of us. So who can catch the most amount of fish from this point on. So whoever catches the most amount of fish from this point on will uh, win this bag of lures. Just the lures, not the bag. So I'm going to show you uh, what, what the winner gets. So here we From this point on, we're going to try to see who can catch the most amount of fish. And whoever catches the most fish wins this box. So it uh, should be pretty interesting and stay tuned. This is uh, Roswell Park. Let's see if we can catch any bass here. This place is always very, very hard to catch fish at, but let's see if we can pull through. Alright guys, we'll be slow in here. We'll see if we can catch some fish here. I think this is the fourth spot we've been to today. Fourth or fifth. Fourth or fifth. So see if we can catch some fish and uh right now we're tied. Hopefully I can come up with a with a dub and get all those those free lures. So uh hopefully we can get back to you with some fish. All right, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up here soon. We're going to take a break, uh, go to Dick's and look at some lures, and then come back out and try another spot. So uh, stay tuned. Hopefully we can catch some more fish. I'm starting to get a little bit tired. So uh, just stay tuned, and hopefully the day turns around. All right, we're at another pond. Hopefully we can catch some fish here. Last place wasn't producing at all. 
first defense. You know what, I'm gonna try to square bill. Livingston square bill. Colin got the first fish. Forward. It's a dink. Flipping bass. You need to catch up now. Hey, watch yourself. <laughs> Just kidding. Got to get excited for the first fish of the turn. Hmm. Got any pliers? Um, yeah, I do. There, I'll get them for you. Show you the beauty of a fish. It's a small fish. We got nice colors on it. He got water skied in. See, he's got red lips. Yeah. Here you go. Whoa, these are like fly fishing clothes. Yeah, I use this for bluegill. I mean, you got a little fish, so it should work just Ew. fine. Ew. That's crazy. I was just fishing there, too. Boom. Got one. Tied up, baby. Livingston crankbait. Livingston crankbait. Livingston crankbait, little bass. Bass is, that crankbait is like a third of its size. Little bass, but hey, it'll work. All right, guys, this is my last day. Uh, Colin and I fished 12 hours yesterday, and we fished eight different ponds. I caught three fish, two counted for the tournament, and he caught, what was it? three fish or two fish he caught three fish so right now he's in the lead um i'm going to be t depending on this uh mega bass pot max to save my uh or get the lead i guess um hopefully we can catch some fish Oh, there's one. It's a nice one. Tied up. Livingston crankbait. There we go. That's probably my biggest fish of this trip. About a pound and a half, maybe. Maybe a pound, I don't really know. Fought hard. I've been just using this Livingston crankbait. It's got this unique sound to it. I don't know if you can hear it here. You can't hear it right now, but it makes like this electronic sound in the crankbait. It's pretty cool. It's been driving these uh, fish pretty crazy. So uh, even though I'm not really bouncing it off of any structure right now, fish are still chasing it. So I'm going to do what the fish want. So uh, stay tuned and hopefully I can gain the lead. Right now we're tied. All right, guys. So we ended up tying. 
So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna like I put my baits in here and he put his baits in here. We're just gonna trade. So uh, I get his lures and he gets mine. So uh, that concludes my trip. I'm gonna be flying back uh, this afternoon. Uh, we fished from it was about seven to I think it was, we left at we ended at 9:45 and now we're leaving. And then I have to go do some stuff and then I'm leaving in the afternoon. So I'll be back fishing in Maryland. So it might be a while before we get some good quality like Maryland fishing videos. So uh, I'm gonna try to do a rod and reel arsenal video with Andrew. Just haven't really had a lot of time to do it with school and stuff. But uh, hopefully we can get some new videos out soon. So uh, stay tuned and thanks for watching.